and we are live guys welcome back to the channel and today we have a uh, quite a packed day we have um, a bunch of things that we're gonna do so first things first i have uh two showings for a client um i'm not sure if i can take you in both of them but let me try and take you in this one before my client comes because my client hasn't come yet so let me see if i can take you into this house first after those two showings that we have today we then have uh, a pre-con sales gallery that we need to go and look at in toronto so uh as i've said it's a back day and i'll be glad to take you guys on it what the, what the, what the? anyways so let me quickly take you guys inside this one before my clients come so that way um you guys will see what this house has to offer real quick check this out now this house has uh a story to it it's like a mid-century house like all these um 19 i don't know if that was called like a mid-century house but it's like all these 1950s 1960s house so if you look at the design of the house that's what uh it looks like now this person the sellers what they did was they got this house and then renovated it like they tried to put as much modern renovations that, that they can to this house and they painted everything so these are the original I'm, I'm pretty sure this is like the original wood and then they, they just painted over it so every you know door to this house is like the original thing i think this house is a it's probably like a two or three bedroom just, just check it out so they changed the lighting obviously they changed the flooring just to make things look you know a little bit more than so it has both the modern look and the old school kind of vibe just just check this out just check out the, the backsplash it's something i really really do like and i like the cabinetry like what they did up there so yeah so said this was um a quick conversion that they they had planned my client is here so just let me go and access my client and, and i'll see you guys soon yeah now we have to be on our way to downtown Toronto. i think it's in downtown i'm not really sure but anyways i will take you guys there and uh, show you guys this new pre-construction that is coming on the market it's called reside on which ones i'm sure i've probably done like a video is it like i've done a video or i'm planning to do like a video of the floor plans and the layout and like everything about that project but the plan is to take you guys around and uh i'm going to be seeing you guys in Toronto soon Okay. So as you see, this is downtown Toronto, yeah. and then uh, this is Bathurst Street, yeah. and then over here was Richmond. This is our major intersection, and we're lo located right at the King West uh, neighborhood over here. Okay. And then we are actually right next to the Queen West neighborhood and also Trinity Bellwood, right? So oh, okay. this is, and then there are over here. This will be the new subway stop. The new subway being, station. Okay. That, that's being constructing okay. at the uh, King and Bathurst. So there is a subway line going through all the here, the Ontario Line Three, right? Okay. That's currently being constructing since last year in March. Um, so the subway line over here that will have one stop at King and Bathurst, which is going to be two minutes walk. So the subway is looking into being completed in 2031, where the occupancy of the building is looking to 2027. This is an 18-story building okay. with 220 uh, 20 units. Yeah. So essentially, this is a boutique building. We offer uh, a variety of size of units here. So we will have studio. We have one bedroom, one plus den. Okay. Uh, two bedroom, two plus den. Also a uh, three bedroom. So some of our units would have uh, a terrace, a terrace here that they will be able to put in a barbecue. The barbecue. And also uh, we come with a water hose speed for them to clean the okay. balcony as well. Okay. And definitely those ones will be more expensive, right? Correct, because it's a larger outdoor terrace, but majority of our units comes with a balcony. And then our uh, lobby entrance here, so you would have uh, a concierge with a lobby over here. This will be the driveway going into the parking uh, garage at okay. the back. And over here on the front, we actually have uh, commercial components here. Uh, right now, this is a heritage 
site uh, in front of Bathurst and Richmond. Yeah. So what we're doing that we're gonna turn into a, a two level of a grocery store, and our amenities would be located on the second and then the top floor. Okay. So what amenities do you guys have on the second floor and on the top floor? Mm -hmm. What? So on the second floor, we will have uh, a co-working space with okay. independent meeting rooms, right? Okay. And then we also have a social lounge, uh, which is a party room with catering kitchen. There is also a fitness center with okay. a yoga studio and a boxing room. On the rooftop, there will be a, a rooftop garden uh, mm -hmm. patio with fire pits, lounging area, and also barbecues. And one of the biggest incentives offering here in terms of investors. Yes. It is a seven dollar um, per square foot for the three years rental guarantee. So we make example over here, right? For example, right now, if you decide to purchase, for example, this 700 square foot, two bedroom, yeah. right? Based on the seven dollar per square foot, I am guaranteeing you forty nine hundred dollars per month per rent for you for the first three years. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Now, this this leasing agreement will still be you as a landlord. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm in the leasing agent. I'm still going to pre present all of the offer that I have. So you yeah. still have the right to select the tenant you want to occupy your unit. Now, if the lease amount of that standard lease agreement does not reach, this will be a top up every month still giving to you. So every month, I'm still guarantee you this for the first three years, your unit's being leased. Question, mm -hmm. what if you don't find, like what's the assurance or the guarantee that you'll find a tenant? I usually, uh, well, CO1, right, is a very popular um, location. Location, yeah. For a building this size, usually we'll be able to lease out the whole entire building within three to four months. Because we do this on a yeah, regular. Yeah, on, That's on why. Regular. So we usually would ask you for about three to four months lead time. Because okay. I'm not going to guarantee you I can rent out your unit. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be asking for a few months worth this time for us to be able to receive eligible offers mm -hmm. when we have a time to present to you and when you'll be able to pick the best tenant for you. Yeah. Right? And, 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 and within that three to four months, would, uh, would I be paying my mortgage on, on the property? So during interim occupancy, that's not a mortgage. What you're paying is occupancy fee. Is occupancy fee. Yeah, office. so you'll be paying occupancy fee while making your rental income. And then we have a model suite at the back. I can yeah. show you some of the finishes. So, um, the building comes with one valet. Okay. So this is the concierge app. Essentially, it comes in standard in all the suite. Okay. Over here, they can see the concierge when their friend calling them from the lobby. They'll That's be able nice. to see it. And then um, we have security camera that essentially connected with all of the um, sorry, a corridor camera, also parking lot, and there is also connected with a thermostat. This is a one plus den with two bathrooms. So this is a one plus den with two bathrooms. Do you have something like this on the actual? We have something like this, but not the same size. Not the same we have size. A similar layout, but not the same size. Okay, so how big is this one? This one is about six fifty. Six fifty. So the one that you have available for sale is how much? It's probably about five seventy square feet. Yeah, it's smaller. Okay. Yeah. So this is a den space. We kind of did uh, a custom new work set over here. This mm -hmm. is a cabinetry with uh, a Murphy bed. So this will be the upgrade. But then um, this kind of shows you how you can utilize a small space, right, as a living space. And all of the den, including the one plus den and two plus den, will be able to add a sliding door free of charge if you want to enclose it. Oh, free of charge. Yeah, correct. Okay. So this will be the um, two pallets. They can choose from in terms of the finishes, right? Okay. So we offer a darker palette here and also a lighter palette here. So essentially they can choose customize and attack. Customize. Okay. And uh, flooring, we are using laminate floor here. They could upgrade to engineer hardwood if they want to. Um, this bathroom, everything in here comes in standard. So hardware, soft closing drawers, LED light, uh, medicine cabinet, all comes in standard. Here. It all comes in right. standard. Okay. Uh, this is uh, a 12 foot long kitchen. So essentially this will be for the three bedroom or larger suite, right? The finishes are the same, but for the smaller kitchen, they will be shorter. Shorter. Right? The difference comes back to the refrigerator, which okay. is going to be 24 instead of this 30 inch. And they don't have the end pantry. Oh, end, right? yeah. So um, they can choose to upgrade to it if the floor plan allows. But okay. for a smaller size, it's pretty sufficient with a double door, a blue freezer, double door. right? 
right? Um, so you get one piece of uh, backsplash, backsplash. Cap your top, uh, caps under cap tree light, soft closing jaws, right? Um, two piece of uh, cooktop top package from Mila. Okay. And then also appliances is all integrated. All integrated. Yeah, so this two piece of cooktop top comes in standard for all the suites. Okay. And in terms of the other appliances, they can choose to upgrade to Mila if they want to. Kitchen island is optional. Um, not all the floor plan fits them. Fits and them. this is a movable island, so it doesn't cover any plumbing or electrical. Oh, okay. Um, so they could either choose to upgrade from us or they can easily just buy a kitchen island somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ceiling height uh, is 9 feet throughout. Uh, okay. Smooth ceiling with the kitchen bulkhead. So the top of the bulkhead will be 9 feet ceiling over here. And penthouse uh, floor will be 11 feet. So the penthouse floor will be 11 feet? Yeah. And then the regular ones will be 9 feet? Yes, correct. Okay. And this is a primary suite. Uh, everything you see here is standard except the custom mirror in the walk-in closet. Okay. Yeah. So the custom mirror? The mirror, the closet. Oh, oh the so closet. in the walk-in closet, the shelving oh, this the is shelving, an upgrade. Oh, the shelving, it's an upgrade. Yeah, the shelving is an upgrade, but gotcha. if, uh, if they, they don't have a mirror, it would be a room. They walk into it. Just but over it. here, everything is standard. If okay. it's a larger suite, they would have a double sink vanity. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and the lightning as well, like on, on the mirror, everything is Yes, lightning, standard. mirror, hot lights here is standard. And the glass shower, is that standard yeah, as well? Yeah, frameless glass shower is standard. The hardware inside is standard as well. Okay. Personally, um, after everything that the lady, you know, said, after the breakdown, after the walkthrough, I, I kind of tend to like, you know, the, the feel, the environment, what um, this place would, would, would look like. Um, and one main thing that she really mentioned that I think I liked was um, part of their like incentives whereby they can guarantee you a certain amount that you you would get for rent for like three months sorry, for like three years straight up so it's like seven dollars per square foot so that incentive is really really nice and then looking at the in interior looking at the showroom i like it if you know anyone who will be interested or if you're interested let me know i should have like another video that will break down like the incentives the pricing um the, the environments, the builders, I should have that video coming up soon as well, or if not, I've already I put it up. But anyways, that breakdown is coming, and uh, that way you would know what exactly the prices would look like. If you're interested, all you need to do is hit me up, and I got you guys. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay blessed, guys.